This is the story of a land, of the people who lived on it in the year 1870, and of a man named Cochise. I was involved in the story, and what I have to tell became part of the history of Arizona. I had finished an army tour as a scout and was on my way back to Tucson to help with the mail run. Some buzzards were circling in the sky. The buzzard is a smart bird. Something or somebody was getting ready to die. I figured it was a hurt deer or a rabbit or a snake. More dangerous than a snake. Maybe it was a trap, but I went down anyway. For 10 years, we'd been in a bloody no-give, no-take war with the Apaches. I had been in that war, and I knew. Better slow. Easy, son. I could have killed before. I spent several days treating him, just as I would any other human being. Buckshot wasn't pretty. He had been hit by a cavalry patrol while on his warrior training trip. That looks pretty good. I must go now. I have been away too long. And the wiki up my mother is crying. Funny. I never figured before that an Apache woman would cry over a son like any other woman. My brothers could have killed. This is clear talk. They see I am not harmed. Then why don't they come in peace? You are a white man with a gun. It works both ways. It says they can still kill. This white man is my friend. He must not be hurt. He gave me life again when soldiers wounded me. This one, he was with them? He found me later. He healed me. White men pay dollars for Apache scalps. Why did you not take his scalp? If I kill Apaches, it won't be for scalp or money. Why not? It is the way of all white men. It is not my way. You did not kill, and we will not kill. This time. They wanted to kill me, all right, but they let me go. I learned another thing that day. Apache men have a sense of fair play. See you, Tom. You've been right, so long Tom. getting here, I started to worry. What took you so long? I expected you a week ago. Let's just say a little delay in route. Jeffords? Yes? Just heard you got into town. I'm Colonel Bernal. I've taken over command of Fort Grant. Congratulations. My orders are to clean out Cochise and the Apaches from the Gray Mountain area. Big orders. Now, you know the territory better than any man. I want you to scout for me. I'm here to help Milt Duffield get the mail through. That's all. It'll hold. Wiping out the Apaches is the important thing right now. Understanding them is more important, Colonel. Maybe that's why Jeffers was a week late, Colonel. Meaning what? All I know is that the stage can't get through but you. You come right across Apache country all alone. Could be maybe you got friends up in those hills. Look, I learned something about the Apaches this last week. I found a wounded Chiricahua boy, and I healed him up. Some braves found us, but they let me go. Guess they figured they owed me something. The Apaches let you go? 
I never heard of that before. Did you, Lowry? No. Did you, Milt? No, I... I can't understand it. You found a wounded Apache, and you didn't kill him? Mm-hmm. I'd like to ask you why. Sorry I can't oblige you, Colonel. See here, Jeffords. All I want from you is some reconnoitering. In six months, I'll have Cochise up by his neck. No, you won't, Colonel. Maybe Jeffers don't know what side he's on. Easy, Jeff. All I'm saying is if you're not fighting against him, you're with him. What's your name? Ben Slade. The Apaches burned my ranch last month. My wife was in the house. They almost got my boy here, too. Seems to me any white man want to see that kind of thing stopped. That's right, anyone would. Well, then why won't you scout for the colonel? That's private business. No, war ain't private. Not when women and children are being murdered. At Big Creek, we murdered women and children. Why not? Cochise started it, and it's up to every man here to... Get your facts straight, Slade. Cochise didn't start that war. It was started by a lieutenant fresh out of the East. Flew a flag of truce, which Cochise honored. Under it hung Cochise's brother and five more. That happened ten years ago. Do you want to know why I didn't kill that Apache boy? For the same reason I wouldn't kill your boy, a scout for the army. The West is big enough for all of us, Indian and white man. And I'm just plumb sick and tired of killing. See you at the office, Milt. Afternoon, gents. All this mail piled up and I can't get a man that'll even ride anymore. Not that I blame him. Cochise got three out of the last four I set out. Sure hope you got some powerful plans for helping me. You do figure on wiping out the Apaches, too, huh? Of course not, Tom, but they're my problem. If it weren't for them, this mail wouldn't just be sitting here. You send for me? Yes, Juan. I have work for you. I want to learn Apache ways. I want to feel Apache here. No white men want to learn these ways. Why do you? I want to speak to Cochise. You're crazy, Tom. Well, I'm not sure, but I think there might be a different way to get the mail through. You get to Cochise and you'll have you staked on an anthill with the ants at your eyes. Those men could have done that when I saved the boy, but they didn't. That's why I think that straight talk might do what a gun can't. You expect him to listen to one man on his own? Well, I've never learned how to do things any other way but on my own. Well, it's your eyes, amigo. My eyes, Milk. When I started out two weeks later, I remembered the last thing Juan had told me. If you should reach Cochise, do not lie to him. His eyes will see into your heart. He is greater than other men. I knew I was being watched every minute and I wanted to run. By the third day, I was nearing the entrance to the Apache stronghold. I kept my hands high away from my weapons and I tried to look at ease. when I leave. What makes that white man think he will leave? It is well known that the chief of the Apaches respects truth as he respects bravery. I am Cochise. I will listen to you. When the Indian wishes to signal his brother, he does so by smoke. These are white man's signals. We call it mail. 
My brothers far away can look at this and understand my meaning. The riders who carry mail are like the air that carries Apache smoke signals. They seek no trouble. I ask that you let the riders go in safety. I come alone, without presence, only with straight tongue. There were Apaches who spoke with straight tongues. The white men hanged them. One was my brother. Who sent you? The soldiers? No, it was my own thought. You have fought against us? Yes. The Battle of Apache Pass. Many Apaches have gone to their ancestors because of the big fire guns in that battle. You know that? I directed those guns. You give me no reason why I should not kill the male riders. And kill you too. Wrongs have been done by both Indian and white man. I say it to you as I've said it to them. You are not like other white men. I respect you for coming here. Will you let the riders go in safety? My mind will work on it. You will rest here. Come. like the ceremonial dance for the white painted lady. You know about it? A little. White painted lady, mother of life. It pleases me that you try to understand our ways. I respect your people, Cochise. They live well together. They carry their heads high. You know what I am thinking? Maybe someday you will kill me, or I will kill you. But we will not spit on each other. It is how I feel. If it is allowed, I would like to see her. It is good luck to visit her now. This girl is holy. White painted lady, I have all wounds. Each scar is a mark of love for your people. You are their heart and blood. Killer of enemies is your father, and you are his son. You will be well. I have brought someone with me. He has an old arm wound. He is welcome. Give me your arm. Does it hurt you? Sometimes. It will never hurt again. The sun will shine for you. And your days will be as the stars. As bright and as many. What is her name? Sonsire. 
Morning Star. Morning Star. This is called shaving. White men have more hair on their faces, so they shave it off instead of pulling the hairs out. Shaving? I thought you were skinning yourself. Does it hurt you? No. How did you know I was here? Saw you in this. Now I see him. What a thing it is. It's yours to keep. Well, if you had it, you could see how beautiful you are every day. Why do you go? It is not fitting. I should not have approached. I am not married. Well, aren't the unmarried ones allowed to talk to Apache men? Only old men. Never young men? Only at the ceremonies. Or they meet by accident where no one sees them. By accident? I understand. Come to you, Ray. Sunsy Ray. In my life, I've been mostly alone. I've wanted it that way. But last night, when you touched me and prayed for me, I. I felt bad being alone. I knew I had to see you again before I left to find out whether it would be the same a second time. Is it the same? When I go away, I'll be lonely for the first time in my life. But your skin is white. So different from mine. Must people be the same? I've never seen a woman as beautiful as you are to me. How are you called? Tom. Tom? Do I say it right? It's never been said right before. I have decided about the mail. If I let only the writers go in safety, there will be no loss, and it will show the whites what power the Apache has. I will be happy to tell this to my brothers. Will you come back? I wait for you to say it. I say it now. Sometimes I tire of what goes on in my head. You are a man with whom I can talk my thoughts. I would like to be your friend. It takes a long time to make a good bow or train a good horse. And it takes longest a good friend. Your decision today may be the first step toward peace. We will not talk about that now. Is that straight, Tom? You saw Cochise himself? That's right. In his own camp? Yes. And he says he let the mail through. That's right. Any lad that go alone in Cochise's camp is all right for my money. Or a blasted liar. The drunken fool that said that better shut up. I believe in the word of Tom Jeffers. The word of an Apache murderer is something else. You said the mail would ride safe, and I believe him. Oh, you do. Well, if you have such faith in the word of an Indian, will you lay a little bet? Name it. Three hundred dollars. That four riders in succession will leave here and come back alive. You got yourself a bet. The route's guaranteed safe by Tom Jeffers and his pal, Cochise. Three days riding at high pay. Who's first? <laughs> Any volunteers? Looks like you'll have to ride yourself, Jeffers. Only that wouldn't prove a thing. I'll go. That'll prove something. Duffield rode out and the whole town settled down to wait. 
Duffield made it. But the town wasn't too convinced. A second rider went out. He thought he saw some Apaches trailing him, but nothing happened. The third rider has said it was that peaceful on the trail, he almost fell asleep. But when a fourth rider went out, I was so proud of Cochise, I was ready to bust. Then one day, they started a wagon train from the Sea of Park to Tucson. Colonel Bernal was in charge. May I ask, are you on a tour of inspection, sir? No, not exactly. Colonel, I wouldn't presume to tell an Indian fighter his business, but a lot of Indians could be hiding up there. They may be inviting ambush. I'm not only inviting ambush, General, I'm praying for him. I've got 50 extra riflemen hidden under blankets in the wagons. Size men. Enemies be with us. Outmaneuvered and outfought. How'd Cochise know we had men hiding in that wagon? Must have known. Knows everything that's going on out of town and right here in this town. Who's this spy? Maybe I can tell you, mister. Maybe a lot of us can. And who is it? Is Tom Jeffords here? Yes. Our last mail rider's just come in, fit as a fiddle. <laughs> you lost your bet, Lowry. Doesn't pay to bet with Tom Jeffords. He's a personal friend of Cochise's. If you ask me, this whole thing was fixed up right from the start. How was it fixed? Cochise doesn't do favors for nothing. He got something out of this. What did he get? What? You tell us. Whiskey? Guns? <laughs> Anyone here want to call me renegade? No. But I can't even get a load of store goods through. Why is it Cochise is friendly only to you? Because he gave his word and he keeps it. This is the first peace move in 10 years, and you're all blind to it. Peace? We'll have peace whenever the Apache's been hung. There's your $300. The 
drinks are on me. I don't drink with any Indian lover. Come on, boys, let's get him. Signals were seen. I give you welcome. It is good to be back again. I am glad you are back. My mind has been troubled. I mourn for dead warriors and dead friends. It's of this I wish to speak. Before you speak, hear me. I know that five days ago you defended my honor against your own people. Your life was almost lost. You are my friend. I trust you. Now I listen. You have just won a mighty victory. It is so. Yet your mind is troubled. How many more victories can you have before you're without warriors? What way has been left to us but war? I bring a way now. A way we both have been seeking. An American general has come to Tucson to speak peace. I spit on that peace. Others have come before. This one's tongue is straight. You would have your own lands, your own laws. The American general said this? He agreed to it. What land? Where? You would decide together. Is this another trick? I would not speak of it if I thought so. He wants to see you here. With soldiers. Alone. He is a man of faith. He believes that all people are children of God. It is something other whites have yet to learn. Will you see him? This new peace, will your white brothers keep it? They wonder the same about you. My word is my life. I do not break it. Nancy Ray, is this meeting accidental enough for an unmarried one? I've been away for almost a moon. Has anything changed with you? All this time I thought he will not come back. And if he does, he will look at me with cruel eyes. Tomorrow I'll speak with your parents. Someone has asked for me while you were gone. Now he'll say. I won't let you go. If I have to, I'll take you with me. If there is no other way, I will go. You have not acted like my brother. You knew that this girl was a maiden. Cheese, I want her for my wife. I have refused not to say once. I will again. Then I can say no more against it. But you will need a strong go-between to convince her parents. Will you be my go-between? No other can do it. I will speak for you tonight.
Well? The marriage will be at the next full moon. That's a long wait. It's a custom. The wiki up away from the village must be built for your first days together. Tomorrow you will go to Tucson. Do not bring back this general unless you are sure of him. I will send out runners. Apaches from all tribes must come here. To talk about peace is a big thing. My people may not want it. I make no promises. They are not expected. Good sleep, my brother. This is not your knife. You have shamed all Apaches. It cannot be allowed. I ask you to forgive me. Nothing has changed. Go to Tucson. Bring back the general. Life and mine have often mixed, Nahil's eye. It is ended. <laughs> the ten days passed. We were finally face to face with the most important men of all the Apache tribes. They would decide with Cochise whether there would be peace. It has been said before, if a big wind comes, a tree must bend or be torn out by its roots. It is not the Apache way to bend. Cochise has thrown away our victories. Now I say this, it is not our victories I throw away. What I throw away is hatred without end. Suppose some white man comes into our mountains and wants yellow iron. Can we kill him? Such a man should be captured and turned over to the military. Then he'll be judged and punished. Suppose he kills one of my men. If a white man kills an Indian, we'll hang him. It is not easy to change, but we must. The white faces grow stronger. We grow weaker. I wish to try this new peace for three moons. I try the way of peace. I break the arrow. The 90-day truce began. Things that had never happened before happened in the Southwest. An army patrol passed some Apaches. They didn't pretend to become friends overnight, but they didn't shoot. Each stone a day of peace. And now there are 12. I think it goes well. But you will not think about peace and war now. You will think only of your wedding. Your left hand. Your right hand. Now, your 
blood mixes. For you, there is no cold. For one is warmth to the other. For one is shelter to the other. You are asleep? Just happy. Sometime, will you grow tired of me and come back to your people? My place is with you. Will you tell me that often? Every day of our life together. This one was found in the canyon. You're Ben Slade's son, aren't you? Yeah. I've been praying you'd be here. How I've been praying. Well, take it easy. No one's gonna hurt you. Would you lose your way? Not exactly. You're the one who said the Apaches wanted peace. Well, I don't call it peaceful when they go right on stealing. Swipe two colts of mine. I trailed them into this canyon. None of my people took them. The boy lies. Cochise, listen. I know this boy's father. He is one of the worst haters of Apaches. If we could show that he is wrong, it would be a good thing. People would hear of it. Maybe you still have a few men who talk your way with their tongues, but not with their hearts. You speak wisely. I will look at the horse signs. My kid gets away. I don't want him hurt. Stop the tracks yet? Saucy Ray. No. No. She's dead, Cochise. One white still lives. Bring him to me! It will not be done. Bring him! It will not be done. This peace is a lie. They don't want peace. 
It is not a lie, and I will not let you make it a lie. Are you a child that you thought peace would come easy? Tell that to her. When she hears you, I'll do This was not done by the military. No one on my territory will open war again. Not even you. If the peace is to be broken, it will not be by us. My wife was buried in the hills she loved. The Apaches shared my grief in the days of mourning. I have given my permission. They wanted to see you. The men involved in the ambush have been captured. They'll pay the penalty. Jeffords, nothing can compensate you for the great tragedy you've suffered. But your very loss has brought our two peoples closer to a will for peace. Now, this may not seem important to you at the moment, but it is President Grant's wish that you become the first United States Commissioner to the Apache Nation. You must not refuse. The arrow is broken forever. You have brought peace to our land. And now in heart and blood, we are brothers. His words meant very little to me then. But as time passed, I came to know that the death of San Sierra set a seal on the peace. And from that day on, wherever I went, in cities, among the Apaches, in the mountains, I always remembered my wife was with me.